and sit down. Hello guys and gals, it's me, Epic Dose, and in the past and recently I've had lots of people ask me how I'm running Champions of Norath and Champions Return to Arms on this emulator. So this is what this video is about. Um, I'm not going to show you how to set up the emulator itself, I'm just going to show you the settings I use to run these two games. I actually just improved it even more so. Um, I recently did a stream of Champions Return to Arms and I was getting slowed down on the first major boss you run into. And I fixed that and other than that, Return to Arms has been running wonderfully. But I fixed that and I fixed a lot, another issue I'll talk about once we get there. But uh, yeah, so let me show you the settings. So we're, we have PCSX2 opened. It's 1.6.0. Um, I think there's a 2.0. I don't know. But anyway, that's the version I'm running in case you want to copy me exactly. But you want to go into config, video, GS, plugin settings. And here are my settings. Now, I'm not going to go through every one of these lines. You're welcome to pause the video and see exactly the settings I have. I basically figured these out by digging through forums for this game, for this emulator, and trial and error. Because every computer is different. I can't guarantee this is going to work for you, but most likely it will. Um, as long as you're not running a potato for a computer. Um, but these are the settings I'm using. Um, the major ones you want to make sure you're doing here, I would say allow 8-bit textures. Um, you also want to have a large frame buffer. Now this one, I don't know. I've had it on and off. I'm not really sure whether you want it on or not. And I don't think it's causing too much of a problem. But it's supposed to prevent like some type of flickering, so I'm guessing that's good. And the other thing you definitely need on is the enable HW hacks. You, once you click that, you want to go to advanced settings and hacks. So you need to have fast texture invalidation checked. Um, and then this align sprite is, you don't necessarily need this, but it's supposed to help with lines when you upscale um the upscale a game or the resolution you're taking a four by three game and upscaling it to 1080 or more so this helps with those lines that develop because on four to three you couldn't see those lines but when you upscale it you can and this this helps to get rid of them i believe um and then you also half pixel offset you want to have special texture okay and then these are i think everything else is default but you can see, like I said, you can pause and check my settings. The internal resolution, I had this at four times, which is 2K. Um, but I, again, saw a lot, in a lot of forums, you just want to go with the native of your screen or whatever. Native of the renderer or whatever. Where it says native for you, I guess. Okay, and then the other thing you want to go into is emulation settings. And it's going to bring up these things here. Now, I'll just click on them for a while, but I think most of these are default settings, but I could be wrong because I don't remember everything I changed, except for the speed hacks is where you got to mess with stuff. So, like I said, default, you can pause, make sure they're the same. Default, default. I believe that's default. This is literally just sizing the window of the the app itself. And then the speed hacks is where you're going to make changes. You're going to check enable speed hacks on this first one, this EE cycle uh cycle rate, you're going to put 0 and on the EE cycle skipping, you're going to put 2. And then you want to mark all these that I have marked. Um the only one that I think doesn't really matter or might be different for you is I've seen this multi-threaded micro one um, checked and unchecked for multiple settings in the forums. Um, I have it checked because I have more than three cores. So that's what it says it's for. So And then game fixes have nothing for this game. Okay, so 
there you go. I think that's all you need to know for the settings. Uh, the rest of the stuff is just general settings that you can learn from any YouTube video about this emulator or going to the website itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and boot it up. And I'm just going to show you how I, what I did for the boss that was giving me slowdown. And then I'll just show you this other thing that was bothering me and how it's not showing it. You're not going to know the difference because it wasn't really noticeable. But, uh, yeah, so let's try that. Oops, I went into the wrong memory card. All right. Hold on a sec. Go into the right memory card. We'll full boot it again. <sighs> Didn't let me back out. That would have been a lot easier. All right. So I've had this save for the boss that I've pretty much, luckily, that I kept. It was a good testing area for the slowdown. So, like I said, that was the only part of Champions Return to Arms that I had a problem with. The rest of it's been running pretty smooth. Let's see, load save game. So this is the boss. First major boss you run into in the game. I had this crazy slowdown every time he did anything like with effects on it, like elemental effects or anything like that. But yeah, as you can see, no slowdown now. If you watched my stream, you definitely saw the slowdown for sure. It literally make me go like slow mo. But we don't need to beat him or anything, but I've actually got pretty, oops, wrong button. Pretty good at kicking his butt because I've been testing this so much. But yeah, this stuff was slowing me down anytime he did anything, basically. But anyway, we don't have to watch that. You can see how it's improved if you, you can literally click on the video of my stream when we fight this guy and see the difference. Okay, so we're just going to go to this latest save. And the problem I had here is after I fixed the slowdown, I was getting where my name of my character and its level was constantly blinking and changing resolution. Because I think it was literally like just going back and forth. And we fixed that. Uh, I changed so many options, I don't know which one actually fixed it. I think a combination of them did, but it doesn't do it anymore. You'll see a little bit of sometimes on this video, it looks like it's blinking. I think that's just the emulator in general. I don't know. It's, it's just from what happened, like uh, taking a game that was from PS2 and putting it on the PC in 1080p. But anyway, it doesn't do it anymore. It also, when I paused, it would take this uh, menu the start menu and it would do the same thing the resolution would drop drop and then come back up go low go high it, it just keep blinking but now it stays the same so that's good so like I said I can't guarantee this is gonna work but most likely it will unless you're running the simulation on a potato of a computer but these settings are working really good. You can play this game and the first one, Champions of Norath, without much problems. I think I got rid of most of the slowdown problems with these settings. So you're literally able to play these awesome games, 1080p, 60 frames a second, on your PC, in case you don't want to play on the standard TV screen with your old PS2. But all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I helped you. Have a good one.